Hey guys, in today's video, I'm just gonna be melting down some scrap aluminum that I have here. It's easy to store ingots, but this kind of takes up a lot of room. So I think it's a good day to just melt this aluminum down and pour some ingots. Now you may be wondering where all of this came from. Well, it came from me attempting to make this the first time. You can see here, I finally was able to make this the second time. So if you want to check that video, it will be in the description below. All of this is from trying to make this. So I don't just have this little tiny stuff here. I actually have this big large piece of aluminum that spilled on my driveway. And I have a little bit of remnants of my driveway right here on the back. I might work on this today. I'm going to have to cut it up in order to fit it into the crucible. We'll see. But the first thing I'm going to do is melt all of this. I might throw in some other stuff that I have laying around the garage, like crutches, a beach chair, a pool ladder. I have a, so much scrap to melt down, guys. Unbelievable. But let's get to the video and let's melt some metal. For today's melt, I'm going to be using a number six, which is an 8kg crucible. We're just going to fill it to the top with all these small pieces of aluminum. I have a bunch, so I will definitely be adding more aluminum to the crucible during the melt. Now that the crucible is filled up to the top, we're going to bring it outside and put it into the furnace. This is the Vivor 12kg furnace. If you're interested in one, I do have an affiliate link in the description below. Now I didn't film it, but this is all the pieces that are broken up from that large piece that was stuck to the driveway. Now during this video, I did turn off the furnace quite a few times just so we didn't have to hear the background noise of the furnace. But I also like adding the aluminum to the furnace when it's not running. And here's something that everybody should do before pouring into a graphite ingot mold. And that is warm it up before using it the outside and the inside to make sure you remove all of the moisture and to make sure it's not cold. So the next thing I'm going to do is to remove the dross or slag from the inside of the crucible. So I'm going to be warming up the spoon prior to dipping the spoon in the molten metal. And now that the first pour is complete, I'm going to reload the crucible with some more of the scrap aluminum that I had in the garage.
This is the last bit of that scrap aluminum that I had left over from that failed casting two weeks ago. This last piece is a little bit too big, but it will melt down and fall right in. Now, as I said in the beginning, the furnace is turned off quite often just for video purposes. I did have it running for some time right before doing this part of the video. So since I was out of scrap and I still wanted to melt down some more aluminum, I decided to go to my bucket full of aluminum cutoffs. And I found this one here, it's pretty large. I think this is from when I made a lost foam casting of a mace head. I'll leave that link in the description. So because I still have more aluminum in the crucible, I'm gonna have to use my two other graphite ingot molds. I only have two other ones and they're smaller than this larger one, but that's just fine because I'm pretty sure the amount of aluminum I have left over in the crucible will work perfectly for both of these. See, just like I thought. 
perfect. All right, guys, that's it for today's melt. Let's see how much weight I have in total from all that scrap aluminum. Oh, look at this random screw. I wonder what that's for. So we have a total of 6.9 pounds, 3.13 kilograms, 110 ounces.